let us start with um, look feel move okay volunteer you want to come yeah all oh, right okay shoulder okay right so on look okay you can mimic anyway okay so can you come here for me please yeah it's okay so how do we start you close your eyes and tell is it not no obvious but think before you talk because sometimes words come before you talk is it not no obvious deformity then you start looking for deformity that's a mistake people do okay so no obvious deformity then if you want to add of sternoclavicular joint clavicle but maybe we are mall union okay ac joint glenohumeral joint okay and then can you turn around for me no winging of scapula which is this scapular thoracic joint okay so that's all and then when you stop there no obvious wasting of the muscles at the back which is mainly we look for infraspinatus deltoid and pectoralis okay you can reverse it is a c it starts from there and goes back there or you can tell everything in the front and then go back okay now so look is finished and then skin over soft tissue we are told and skin over is normal no surgical scar so three yes you don't forget it okay coming to the feel again first is okay i'm checking for any warmth okay sometimes you need to do depends on the history of any infection or inflammation otherwise personally i don't do warmth but you just for completion you can do warmth for tenderness tell the patient i am going to feel your joint it may be painful please let us know i won't be asking you again yes. okay otherwise is it painful is it painful is it painful mm -hmm. is it's like acupuncture okay don't do that okay so i won't be asking you you have to let me know okay sternoclavicular joint clavicle ac joint glenohumeral joint and then i done the joints okay and then the soft tissue if you want biceps any tendinitis okay. supraspinatus tendinitis and then suprascapular and scapular pain okay so you look for any soft tissue tenderness okay so you can go either that way or just go like that okay so again it starts from there and goes back that how comfortable you are these are the common questions okay if you are given for example bicipital tendinitis okay if you feel like that normally it's painful was it painful or not so it is painful so you can check i generally tend to do bicipital tendinitis on bilateral okay how comfortable you are okay textbook wise you have to make the patient sit and then go from the back and examine like that but you can't see the patient whether to keep the mirror or not all these questions are but just do what is comfortable for you elegantly rather than mirror or not sitting or not okay if the patient is too tall i'll make them to sit okay if they are short i'll make them stand not short but normal okay all right okay so this is with the look feel okay move okay here is the difference i don't start like that because first i want to diagnose okay you have to check three joints okay three muscles that is the rotator cuff okay and then one tendon simple three joints three muscle one tendon okay so in the three joint what are the three joints you know is a glenohumeral joint subacromial joint is there a skeleton no okay subacromial joint okay not to worry and then the ac joint okay so if there is a frozen shoulder can you can you examine the patient properly to go for an impingement test ac joint pain is it difficult so the first test i do is rule out a frozen shoulder okay so the d test is which one external rotation or abduction which is a better test for frozen shoulder sorry for frozen shoulder yeah external yeah very good because impingement is also affected by abduction okay there is global restriction of movements in frozen shoulder but the best way is external rotation which rules out everything so all you do is can you do like that for me okay one step forward and then cup the uh, forearm and then do like that external rotation is normal so there is no frozen shoulder okay okay if it is a frozen shoulder it will be like that it will be limited okay and then i go to the impingement so impingement happens if the 
Greta Tuberosity comes under the acromi and pinches the structures in between, is it not? So, the greater tuberosity comes when it is in internal rotation, not in external rotation. In external rotation, the lesser tuberosity comes under. Clear? So, either due to subacromial osteophytes or a thickened bursa or a supraspinatus calcific tendinitis, it can be pinched. So, the first test you do is, can you show your thumbs down and keep going up and let me know when the pain starts. And you can support the patient because if it is painful, if there is no pain, there is no impingement, just go to the next test. If it is painful, then supination, that is external rotation and keep going up and let me know when there is pain, disappearance of pain. That is lesser tuberosity goes under now, okay. If it is no pain, you do not need to do this test in waste time because there is no impingement. Is it just because the space gets bigger? Yeah, space is bigger, okay. Because when greater tuberosity goes under, the space is less. When the lesser tuberosity goes, the space is more. So they could have pain on both. Um, yeah, it, or you can ask, is it better? You are not asking, is it, is it better? Okay. Typically, it starts at roughly 60 degree, okay, and then it keeps going, and 120 degree it disappears because greater tuberosity already escapes. Okay. So, and then these two, then the last, if it is positive, you do with this and see less pain, and also you can add one more test. Can you do like that for me? Okay, and then. Imagine that is this side is a problem, drop the shoulder like that, okay. That is internal rotation which is Hawkins test positive. I do both at the same time because if you do one, only one at a time, sorry, the patient will start moving like that because of the pain, okay. So, I, to stabilize the patient, I do like that, okay. Just like a martial arts, okay. Next. So, where we are. So, starting with no frozen shoulder. Can you do like that? Keep going up, no impingement, and then the last one is AC joint. If this AC joint is painful, I can't squeeze the AC joint and cause pain. The only way is to do a shoulder movement at the end of the shoulder movement. Then, if I pump like that, okay, imagine like that, okay, pump the elbow towards the opposite shoulder, okay, and the AC joint moves and there will be pain on the top, okay. Sometimes we can go and do the pumping at the back as well, like that, okay. So, Three, impin three joints finish and then is the muscle. For the muscle, you do active or passive movements? Both. No, well, passive and passive. For muscle strength, active. active. Okay, for muscle strength, it is always active, active, active. For all the joint examination, it is passive, but you can start with active and then take over for passive. Okay, so muscle, supraspinatus is attached on the top, is it not? So, can you do like that for me? Okay, and little forward because the scapula is not flat, it is slightly on this plane. Okay, it is inclined forward. So, all the movements will be inclined forward a little bit. Okay, and it, what, what supraspinous function is initiation of abduction. Okay, so you do not start like that, you start with the initiation of abduction and can you push it up and show your strength for me? Good. So, your muscles should strong. Okay, and then next is like that. Infraspinate is slightly attached to the back of the greater tuberosity, so it is external rotation, including the teres minor, is it not? So, can you push it out for me, both at the same time? Excellent, that is good, okay. And then the subscapular is attached in the front, is it not? Is front, so on the lesser tuberosity, so can you do like that for me and push it in for me strongly, that is good, okay. So, that is intact. The modified test is, you can keep like that and can you push on your belly for me or can you show behind for me and push back of my hand? Thank you. You can do that, but it is typical, very difficult on day to day practice on a normal patient. Okay. Simple is can you do like that? Push it up, do like that, push it out, sorry, push it out, good, and push it in. That is all. All three tests finished. Okay. So, abduction, internal rotation, external rotation. Now, bicipital tendinitis. So, biceps is attached to the front. So, if you want to stretch it, the only way is and is attached to the elbow. So, you do not, if, if you flex it, it will get relaxed. So, you extend it, keep it taut, cross the arm and not to bend the elbow. Can you push it up for me please, okay. So, without bending the elbow, okay. So, then they will have tendinitis along the biceps, clear. And now, so that is what frozen shoulder, external rotation, subacromial impingement, abduction, AC joint, cross adduction, okay. All clear with that?